Hello and welcome to Caldwell County Today. I'm Paige Counts, Public Information Officer for Caldwell County. Today I have April Austin from the Senior Center joining me. Hello April. Hello. Welcome. I feel like it's been a while since we've talked. It has been a while. <laughs> but you've had a lot going on. We have. It's been busy. And a lot of transition. Yes, we are. We're definitely in that transition. But the good news is we are open and open with very little restriction. So we're back about to full, full force as to what we were before. So we're really excited about that. That is really exciting. And I know that you have a lot of exercise classes going that's, on. That's our biggest thing right now. And that's what we started back with first when we reopened was, was getting all of our exercise classes back in place. So everything exercise wise that we had before and some additional things are actually um, back in person now. So we have our cardio and strength training, which are on Monday and Friday mornings. Um, new actually is our, we always had a rooted and rock in on Tuesdays, which was a chair aerobics. Um, now we actually have 30 minutes of chair aerobics and 30 minutes of balance. So that's a new class that's really popular on Tuesday afternoons. Our line dance class is back. Our intermediate class is back. Our beginner class is going to start back in September. Um, we have Tai Chi now um, different times. We have a new Tai Chi class that's actually being offered on Thursday nights. So we're really excited about that for people maybe who are working or keeping their grandchildren during the day and can't kind of get out to see us, we're actually up until 7 on Thursdays. So that gives you a little bit of time. Our Tai Chi class is at 5.30. Um, our fitness room's open too. So um, our yoga class still on Wednesday. And then, like I said, our fitness room, which has, for most people, if you haven't been in the last few months, last year, um, while we were shut down, we replaced most of our fitness equipment. Mm -hmm. So we have new equipment and we actually, the one piece of equipment that wasn't replaced last year is getting ready to be replaced in a few weeks. So we'll actually have all new equipment in our, in our fitness room. Wow, that's very exciting. Now, are any of these classes offered virtually? So most of our exercise classes are being offered virtually. The only things really that aren't being offered virtually right now are line dance. Everything else is being offered um, virtually at the same time. So again, Monday, Friday morning, um, Tuesdays, we have the Rooted and Rockin' and the Balance Builders. The Tai Chi on both uh, the Tai Chi that's on Thursday and also the yoga class that's on Wednesday that Ellen teaches. So all of those are being offered kind of in a hybrid format. So we have um, the instructor there. The instructor's on Zoom. Nobody in the class is on Zoom. So that's one of the things we had a little bit of concern about when we first started mm -hmm. was like, can they see me? But we've got it set up to where the instructor's the only person that they're seeing. Um, and so we're doing those in a hybrid format, but right now everything, all of our classes exercise wise, except for line dance are being offered both ways. So you can choose if you don't feel like coming out, if you don't want to get up and get ready that morning, you can zoom in and, and do the exercise class. You can do a combination. Maybe you want to come in person some days and do it from home. The others, those are all options now. Is registration required? No, registration is not required, except that if you haven't done the Zoom class, you need to contact us to get the links for it. Um, but once you have the link, it's good. You can save it and you can use that each time. You don't have to let us know each time, but we um, don't have a really good way to post our links without um, kind of putting ourselves at risk for Zoom bombers. And if you don't know what that is, people kind of worm their way into your Zoom meeting that are there for not very nice purposes. So um, we don't post those on our website anymore on our Facebook, but we will email it to you if you want it and then you can save it and use it. You don't actually have to register. Okay, awesome. But you are doing some things via Zoom to help people who maybe can't get out. You're yes. doing Zoom chats. Yes. Tell us about that. So we've been doing those um, for over a year now, actually. We were doing them every Friday, and we've seen a real decline in that participation in those. And there's some other classes being offered um, in other locations, other places at the same time. So people were having to kind of decide where to go um, and what they wanted to participate in. So we've kind of dropped those Zoom chats down to once a month. And there'll be one Friday a month. We kind of are rotating that around other things that are going on in the community to try to make sure people can do it. Um, and so in July, it's actually going to be July 23rd, and we're actually doing something new with it this time. Sometimes we have speakers, sometimes we have games, but we're going to do a wacky U.S. history trivia game. So it's going to be a lot of fun. 
We've had a lot of fun doing those. We do some games via Zoom and, and some other things too. So um, we're also still offering our caregiver support group virtually. Um, it meets the first Wednesday at one o'clock. I don't know yet when that will transition back to in-person or an option for in-person. It probably will, but for right now, that one is still meeting um, virtually. And for caregivers, it's actually probably a really good way to meet. It is for a lot of caregivers, so they don't have to worry about finding someone else to, to step in and provide care and making arrangements. So that one may continue to be virtually for a while, um, and we may offer an ongoing virtual um, opportunity for that too. We haven't really worked out all those details yet, so we're still still working on it. But for July, it's July the 7th, and it'll be, it will be virtual at this point. And... Every month you do advanced care planning workshops. Yes, we do. And those are also still virtual. Um, hopefully we've been talking with um, our partners that put that mm -hmm. together. So hopefully we'll be able to offer an in-person um, workshop for that very soon. But right now we're still doing that virtually too. And it's the second Thursday of the month at 1.30. And what we're doing with that um, for people who, who aren't aware, you know, there's different types of advanced care planning documents. and. They go over the health care power of attorney and the living will. They go through the whole form step by step. We get the forms to you ahead of time. Um, we can email them to you or you can pick up copies either way. And then they go through it step by step um, right up until the point where you're supposed to sign it. And then we make appointments for you to come by the senior center. Or if you have someone else that can sign it, we tell you, you know, what you need to do and you can get it signed and notarized to execute those documents. And that's a really important thing to do. It's a very important thing for people to have. And we always like to say that if you wait till you need it, it's too late. So you always want to be prepared and have those documents um, ready to go. Mm -hmm. so. Very important documents. Now you're doing something, and this is the first time I've seen this on your schedule, so this is brand new, I'm guessing. It, it's new, and it's not new. So this is something that was offered um, several years ago, and we've brought it back. We were able to do that, but it's, it's a nail care clinic um, with Linda Phipps, who's licensed and has all the certifications and everything that she has to do. But it's for people who have trouble trimming their, their fingernails and toenails because they're too thick or they can't reach them because of um, arthritis or other mobility limitations. And we are doing that. It's, it's always on Tuesdays. We're doing it several Tuesdays a month. Um, and we didn't print the dates because they kind of change, uh, but we can. you can contact the Senior Center if you'd like to get an appointment and we can get you on the schedule for that. But it's, it's a free nail care and Linda is very qualified, very good, and she's able to help do that. But it's something that they did offer several years ago and circumstances being what they were, it kind of got discontinued for a while mm -hmm. and we've been able to bring it back and we're really grateful to her for offering this service because, you know, if you try to go get those things done, it can be very expensive. So be, we want to make yes. sure we're offering that for, for people. So we're very excited to have her there. And she does a great job. She's actually already done her first clinic. Um, and there'll be usually about two a month. So it's approximately every other Tuesday. But for scheduling, it might be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. And we can set up those appointments. Okay, this one always fascinates me, bingo. But you don't just play, it's not just people sitting in a room playing bingo always. We now have multiple options for bingo. Um, so during COVID, we added a conference call line, and we've been playing bingo over the phone. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of fun. We um, have, everybody gets their cards. We can mail them, or they can come by and pick them up, or we can email them. There's multiple ways to get those. You find whatever little buttons or pennies or pieces of paper and cover your card. You play from home and then you just read it back to us when you if you win. We still have prizes. Um, we make arrangements either for the prizes to be picked up or mailed. Sometimes we have things that we can mail. So um, no computers required, no internet's required. So you just call in, it's a local call. And we've been really excited and had a lot of fun with that. So we are going to actually keep that going for a while. Um, so that's going to be July 8th at 10 o'clock. And also July 16th, we are going to have bingo in person. Um, so we have another bingo scheduled in, that we were doing in June. So we started that back in June. And July 16th, it's going to be in person at 10 o'clock. You do have to register for bingo to either get your cards mailed to you if you want to play on the phone or to um, sign up in person because we do still have a limit for bingo. We don't have a lot of capacity limits anymore, but there are some activities that are 
usually pretty packed that we mm -hmm. still have some limits on. Um, so you have to sign up for that. And also so we know about prizes and things like that because we want to try to make sure we, you know, we have a reasonable amount of prizes for the number of people that are coming because we want you to win. <laughs> And you typically have really great prizes. We do. We get a lot of sponsors um, for our bingos, and they bring prizes with them. So we have, you know, you never know. Um, our newsletter will always tell you who's sponsoring that particular event. But we get um, different groups that want to sponsor and donate prizes. We also have people that just come to the senior center and give us prizes to hold on to for bingo. So we have some from that too. So we, we, we take your prize donations as well. <laughs> Always great. That's one thing I always remember about your bingo is there's always great prizes. There's always great prizes. So that's very important. Now you also have something coming up and you do this quite a bit, smartphone classes. So we did, but it's been a really long time mm -hmm. since we've been able to have these in-person classes. And I think the biggest demand other than exercise classes we've seen since um, COVID and since being closed is the smartphone classes. A lot of people who didn't have smartphones, now have smartphones because that was the way for them to keep connected. Um, so July 15th, we're going to have um, Carolina West and Bark Mobile. They've done our smartphone classes before and they're gonna be coming back. And so at two o'clock, we'll do people who have iPhones and at three o'clock, we'll do them for people who have smartphones. And if you don't know the difference, if you look on the back of your phone and it has an Apple, then it's an iPhone. And if it doesn't, it's probably pretty much a smartphone. And if you don't know for sure, you can actually bring it by the senior center and we'll look at it and tell you which class you need to be in because they do operate differently. Um, so we do try to make sure that we have something, you know, for each one because it gets confusing if you're trying to teach somebody how to use an iPhone and they've actually got an Android operating system. They, they get kind of confused. So. Um, and then we'll have follow-ups for each of those coming. Once they're there, we'll schedule some follow-ups. So what they typically do is kind of go over some of the basic things, give you a week or two to practice and work on it, and then come back and meet with them and work out any questions or more advanced things that you want to learn how to do. So that's very important in case you don't have those grandchildren or children close by to help you. Yes, absolutely. Um, check out a smartphone class. And even if you do, you might learn something that your grandchildren mm -hmm. don't know. That's right. You may learn a shortcut or a trick. So very important. And we get a lot of people that come to the senior center and ask us for help with their smartphones. And I'm not very good with mine. <laughs> so it's uh, it's nice to have the experts to come in and try to help. I'm always glad to try to help somebody, but most of the time I can't figure out what it is. So uh, exactly. I, I can call and text, but that's about as far as I can go with most things. You know, I'm, I was just thinking maybe I need to come and take that <laughs> class because I'm not really great with mine either. So, and I get a question and I'm like, uh, I don't know. So, so we have the experts coming to kind of tell you how to do all that. And from smartphones straight into social media. Yes. So when you come and learn how to use your smartphone, you can access our social media accounts on your phone and you can join us for Travel Tuesday and Wellness Wednesday and all of the other great things that we've been doing online that, um, have been really popular throughout the last year and we've had a lot of requests not to stop those um, for people who maybe can't come out to see us or aren't quite ready to come out and see us so we're still going to keep doing those we're actually doing right now through the summer on travel tuesday we're doing um iconic american road trips so we're taking some road trips through the united states maybe to some places you haven't thought about going um, we have been all over. We've been to, oh, I can't even remember all the places. <laughs> we've been on safari. We have been to Holland. We've been to Germany. We've been to places in the United States, other countries. We just kind of keep going. Um, if you have a virtual travel destination that you want to know, let us know. We'll be glad to try to, to put something together for that. Wellness Wednesday, we kind of take that time to focus on health and wellness tips and exercise videos that we link people to so you can do those from home. You know, we know a lot of people, our schedule doesn't fit with theirs. And so they like to exercise at different times before we're open, after we're closed. So we try to get people to um, be able to do that. We also have a YouTube page, which we're really kind of excited about. Um, we're seeing a lot more traffic on that, but we post our programs, a lot of them, not everybody's will consent to us posting mm -hmm. them, but we post a lot of our programs to YouTube. So if you miss, um, if you missed our 
chat we had with a local attorney a couple of months ago. You can actually go to YouTube and pull that up and watch that if you missed um, you know, our elder abuse programs and you wanted to see that or our service programs. We have a lot of those on there and you can go back and watch those at your convenience or if you just even if you were in attendance and you thought, well, I think I remember them saying something, you can go back and find those. And we have some of our exercise classes on there. Um, we're working every day to get more and more content posted there, but that's been pretty popular for us as well. Really, your YouTube page, and if you have somebody you think, well, they couldn't attend this program, maybe you remind them that that YouTube page is mm -hmm. available for yes. a lot of your programs. Yes, and if you subscribe to it, it'll send, you'll get notifications that things are posted and when new stuff's posted. So. so Very good. Also, I don't think we do a show without talking about Medicare. Never. <laughs> so, Medicare updates. So, Medicare is one of the things that keeps us really, really busy. Um, it, has, it didn't really slow down through COVID. We changed how we do it. Um, we've had a lot of people call in to see now. You know, at first when we closed, it was can we do this in person? And we're like, you know, sorry, we can't do it in person. We can do it over the phone. We can do it virtually. Um, now it's, can we do this over the phone? Because people don't really want to necessarily come in. We get a lot of that, but we are um, still doing phone and virtual counseling. So if that is your option, if you would like to do that, that option is available to you. And I don't think we'll ever go away. We'll, we'll probably always do it that way now. But we do have SHIP counselors available on site most days of the week. So people can come in if you are new to Medicare and you need some assistance. If you have a problem, if you're on Medicare and you're having issues with something or it's not paying for something and you just need somebody to help you figure that out, we can do that. Um, the other thing that's really important are extra help applications. If you think your medications are too expensive, you might qualify for some extra help programs. There's a variety of programs that you may be eligible for to reduce those costs. And we can help you do the application, submit those. We can do those over the phone. Uh, most of them don't take very long, but that's something we screen people for and can give you an idea if you might qualify. And the income limits um, change in the spring every year. So it's always a good idea if you were close, if you looked before and you were close, maybe you should call us and we can check to see if you qualify for that. And the most important thing, the most important thing is on July the 29th at 3 o'clock, we are going to have an in-person Medicare 101. That's the first in-person one we've had. And I have had a lot of people asking about doing that in person again. So we have one of those coming up. Um, it will be space limited, so it's a good idea to call and sign up to make sure you get your spot. But we'll go through the Medicare 101, talk about the basics. So if you're getting ready to retire, going to be turning 65, I actually encourage people, if you're going to be turning 65 in the next year, to go ahead and take this class. So you can start learning about it. Um, and that helps you understand when you start getting all these things in the mail and all these different advertisements and you hear about all these different plans, you can kind of understand going into it what you're looking for and what to research and what you might be interested in because there are a lot of different plan options and our counselors can help walk you through all that. But it's really a good overview of Medicare, what the different parts are, what the different parts cover, what you need, what you don't need, and if you have other insurances or other medical care programs. Um, you know, we have a lot of people who get VA benefits and they don't really understand how their VA benefits work with their Medicare. And we can help people understand, you know, what they still need to have if they have those kind of things. Lots of questions about Medicare, but Medicare 101 is the best way to get yes. those questions answered. That's really the first step if you're new or even if you're already on Medicare and you just don't really understand what you've got and what it does, we can, that's a good thing for everybody to do. So that's a class on July 29th, mm -hmm. but you do need to call and yep. sign up for. And it's also good, too, if you're a caregiver for someone with Medicare. Maybe you don't understand what kind of plan options they have. It's a good thing for you to attend as well. Now, your operation doesn't happen without the help of volunteers. That's right. And you are in need of volunteers. What we, kind of volunteers do you We are need? always in need of volunteers. And some of the things that we need volunteers for, um, we always use volunteers to help with our receptionists. Um, some people that can uh, back up, maybe if somebody's out, if, you're, if you don't really want to volunteer on a regular basis, but you'd be willing to volunteer if someone was sick or someone you know, was on vacation for a few days. We're looking for that. Um, we're always looking for people who want to do programs, whether that's educational programs, exercise programs, 
um, if you have a talent you would like to share with someone or you know different actually the sky's the limit really when it comes to programs because we're always interested in something new different if you have something and you thought well this would be a great program and i'd love to be a part of it we're, we're really interested in doing that this is kind of a reinvention phase for us because we're reopening and things are different and so we're really looking for some new programs if you have things you'd like to do we are always looking for ship counselors and that's what we just talked about the medicare um, those counselors are ship counselors which stands for senior health insurance information program and they're trained, they do have to go through an online training and then periodic updates to that training. But we need people who are, who are willing to come in and do that service um, and help people. And it's really, it's really flexible as far as when you volunteer and how much you volunteer. Our busiest time is always during open enrollment, but we have a need for those people year round. So we're always looking for that. And the other thing that we're looking for, um, which is something new we're getting ready to start, is an advisory committee. And we're looking for people who would like to have some input and some influence into how the Senior Center um, does programs, how the Senior Center interacts with the community, gets that information out to the community. And there's nobody better to help us with that than seniors. So we're looking for some people who would like to serve on that advisory committee. And you can call me at the Senior Center anytime if you want to talk further in more detail about those volunteer opportunities. But we are always looking for volunteers. Great way to give back. Great way to meet people. Mm -hmm. And if you've been stuck in the house for a year, it's it's a great way to get back into coming in and doing something. Because we can be really, we have people who volunteer several days a week. We have people who volunteer once every couple of months. We have people who volunteer just for special projects. If we're having a big event and you just want to be on the list to volunteer for those big events, that's okay too. So we, we have opportunities for all kinds of people. And if the senior center is not a fit for you, we actually have a list of agencies in the community who need volunteers. So if you're looking for volunteer opportunities, call the senior center. Yes. But I mean, that's really what it boils down to. Um, Operation Fan Heat Relief is becoming more and more important. I mean, I think today as we're recording this, the high it's, is supposed to be 90 something. Yes, and as we're recording this, I'm pretty sure it was already that outside when I walked into the building. <laughs> um, we, we do this every year. We receive um, fans and it's through the Western Piedmont Council of Governments, through the Duke Energy Funds to purchase those fans, but fans are available to Cobble County residents who are 60 years or older or disabled. Um, they have a home situation where there's a threat to their health or well-being, and then they just need to provide us with proof that you live in Cobble County and that you're either over 60 or, or disabled, and we can give um, each household a fan. We have a few of those left, and they're first come, first serve. So you have to come by the senior center to get those. We can't hold them. Um, and there's not a lot available, unfortunately. That's something that we don't have enough of um, for the need, typically. But we do still have some of those available, and you can stop by there and pick those up. And if you're a resident of the county, over 60 or disabled, they're, they're free. Okay, so, so. Very important service. Very important. If you need a fan, reach out to, this, come by the senior center. Really, can't mm -hmm. really, I mean, reach out, yes, but just come by. Yeah, we can give you more information over the phone, but you have to come by to pick them up, so. You've mentioned this a couple times if we, as we have talked today, but you have new hours. Yes, and this is one of the thing, most important things I wanna get out to people because I don't know that people know yet, um, but we, we changed our hours. We actually planned to change our hours a long time ago and, and everything just kind of happened and we were closed and it didn't work out that way. So we're now open on Monday through Wednesday from eight to four. So we're opening a little earlier than we used to and closing a little earlier than we used to. Um, on Thursday though, we are open from eight to seven. So you can come by, you can um, participate in the activities that are scheduled. You can come and use the billiard room. You can come and work puzzles or use the computer lab, the fitness room. Any of those things are available to you till seven. And then on Fridays, we're actually closing early. So we're there from eight to one. And really, as I'm looking at this, from what I see outside looking in, this seems to meet the demand for the Senior Center a little bit better. That's what we were trying to do. Um, we had noticed that there, the Senior Center wasn't being utilized very much on Friday afternoons. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of people who were wanting to come in before 9. Um, you know, we didn't open until 9 before, and we had a lot of people who wanted to exercise in particular earlier than that. 
And so we, we just talked about it and tried to figure out a way we could meet the demand. And we really wanted to be able to offer services to people who who are still working because a lot of seniors are still working or they're volunteering in other places or they're taking care of grandchildren or sometimes raising grandchildren. And so during the day is not necessarily a time that works out well for them. So we um, tried that opening, you know, later and we may adjust this if things go well and people like the later hours, we may look at making some additional adjustments in the future. Um, we do have quite a few people now coming to, to the class that we're offering, the Tai Chi and Qigong class that's on Thursday nights. Um, and then, like I said, the other fitness rooms open. We have a Medicare counselor there most nights. So most Thursday nights we have a Medicare counselor available as well. So if you're still working but you want to talk to somebody about Medicare, we can schedule that in the evening. So it's given us a lot of different opportunities to serve the community. So really, it's all about changing to meet the community. And during the time you were closed, you have pretty much revamped. We yourself. have. We really wanted to look at the ways that we can meet the needs of the community. And I think one of the bright spots of, of COVID, if you if you can call it that, is is we were able to get a different perspective of what the community needs. And I think we always knew seniors are isolated a lot of times. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of seniors in the community who are isolated. They don't have transportation. They have mobility limitations that prevent them from being able to come out and do things. So one of the things that, that COVID did is really forced everyone to look at that because everyone was a little more impacted by isolation than typical than they typically are. So we were able to really look at the, the community as a whole and try to figure out how to meet those needs. And it's um, it's not perfect and it's not, it probably still doesn't meet everybody's, but we really want to expand our services to be able to meet the needs of everyone. So I think you'll see the virtual programs. I think you'll see some different programs even coming up virtually that we're, than what we've done now. Um, continuing the phone programs, you know, continuing the options to do Medicare counseling virtually or by phone, those sort of things we'll, we'll continue to do. And we're always, you know, looking for new ideas and, and new feedback. So if you think of something, maybe, maybe you know of something we do you'd like to see us offer mm -hmm. virtually, we'd be willing to discuss that and see if we can make that happen. And as always, people can reach out to the Senior Center Tell Absolutely. us your phone number. Um, it's 758-2883. You can also find us on our website. You can go to our website to get our schedule of programs. You can go to the website to get information um, about services that we offer, other things that we're doing. This is, again, just the tip of the iceberg. We didn't even talk about a lot of our regular programs, um, crafts, knitting, crocheting, oil painting, um, euchre, cribbage, wood carving, bridge, all those things are back. Billiards. Billiards, all those things are back. Um, so you guys, you know, we, we've got so much happening. Um, the website's a really great place. Our Facebook page is also a really great place. You can actually go to the newsletter, uh, excuse me, you can go to the website now and subscribe to our newsletter if you would like to get that via email. Or you can call us and we can add you to our mailing list for our newsletter if you don't already get that. Or if you want us to sign you up for the email, we can do that too. And if you're not a senior, maybe you have a loved one who is a senior, you can sign up for the Senior Center newsletter or yes. follow their Facebook page. And mm -hmm. that way you know the activities and you can be like, yep. hey, mom, maybe you would enjoy. Absolutely. And you can download a copy of that newsletter straight from the website as well. It's also posted there. So lots of opportunities to get involved. April, have we forgotten anything? I know there's like we probably an, have. <laughs> I know there's like an hour's worth of stuff we could talk about um, easily. The, the best thing senior. is, and we haven't been able to say this in a really long time, but the best way to find information is to come and see us. Come and take a tour. Come and see the building. See what we offer. Um, you know, there's so many services and programs that we offer. We help people. Um, arrange services. We help people. We do notarization by appointment if people need things notarized. 
We um, offer, you know, our computer lab is always open for people to use. We have periodic, um, periodically we have computer classes. We're hoping to get all those things back and going. So there's just a lot there. And if people need assistance, the best thing they can do is either call or come by and see us. Like I said, we can't, we haven't been able to say come by and see us in so long that it's kind of nice to be able to do that now. Yeah, definitely go by the senior center, see what they have available. Just stop in and say hello. Say we've missed you, if nothing else and Absolutely. see how you can get involved. Thank you, April. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. And thank you for watching Caldwell County today.